What's up, everyone? Sweaty Zeus here, continuing the walkthrough of Elden Ring. This is Kenneth Height, and I um, forgot to talk to him back at the beginning of the game. Actually, I, I kind of didn't worry about it because his quest is kind of pointless. Uh, but they did update it, so there's an end to it now. He's going to ask you to clear out Fort Height, which we already did a long time ago. And then once you do, you come back and talk to him. Right then. Time I much to... He'll tell you it's time to head to the fort. And then he's going to knight you there, he says. Yeah, I got um, sent over here by Patches Teleporter. So I got to hit a grace. I was trying to find where Patches was. He's not in his, um, where he's, you know, where he's supposed to be. So I, I didn't think we killed him. Um, trying to look back and see. I'm pretty sure we didn't never kill him. Um, but he should be either in Volcano Manor or Mount Gilmere. And I'm not seeing him at uh, either one of them. So I, I don't know what the deal is, but I'm almost positive that I didn't kill him. So this is all very early game. Shouldn't be difficult at all. But a bunch of these guys will be here. Grab it earlier. There's a cookbook in there. And go talk to this guy. Ah, you is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen. Oh, indeed, it is a far one. Must be found, but a true and stalwart. I'm sorry that I haven't the authority to the great Kenneth Hype, but now, for a true and stalwart, I must beg for a true. So, we're basically wanting to get Nefeli to be the leader of Limgrave. I think I might need to get rid of the potion first. I didn't use it on her or Dung Eater. I meant to use it on Dung Eater, but uh, we talked to Saluvis too early, so it's basically useless at this point. In this ash, it reminds me. Okay, that's her final dialogue. And then I'm gonna go get rid. If you have the potion. I'm sure most of you have gotten rid of it by now, but Journey to the if you didn't use it on either of them, you can just give it to Offnir. You go and see Salavis, but don't give him. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking, despite knowing next to bloody is inevitable. This. All right. Oh, and you got Razzy's mask. Look now, finished. Crater. He is a root of all came. It was the state. Riker. All right. So that was all. All of his dialogue. And we got rid of that. So what I don't remember is how these already left. I don't remember how I advanced her dialogue passes. In this ash, it reminds me. But she should end up. Mm -hmm. 
She should end up uh, here in Godric's um, in the uh, his like throne room. I think I'm missing something here. You need to talk to Gustock. Progress him all the way as well. They're all three related somehow. So he didn't have anything I wanted, but I need to open that. But uh, Kenneth Height and the fellow will both be in here, and he will decide to uh, have her be the new leader of Limgrave. I don't remember exactly what we need to do next to get them to move forward, so I will look that up. But um, suffice to say. It's worth it because um, you'll get an ancient dragon smithing stone out of it. Okay, yeah, uh, still not in here. He's still there. Well, I'll take a look at it, and then in the next one, hopefully, we'll address it. But I know it's something you usually can't complete till at least, like, mid-game, so. Alright, and we got the bell bearing hunter there. Going up here, this is going to be our first, first target for the, uh, Volcano Manor group. You don't have to do it. it it's like its own kind of little guild you can join. Side quests. And uh, there will be like four or five different targets you get. And patches will give you one too. That's why I'm trying to find him because I do want to get his... Uh, target he basically you know like tricks you into doing his form but you get a really cool armor set out of it i think probably the coolest armor set in the game here dodge this i hate how you fat roll whenever you go into an invasion For whatever reason, you lose your uh, rune arc power or upgrade whenever you go into uh, an invasion. We'll get his armor once we warp back, which is a upgraded set. It's going to be quite a bit stronger. Let's see it here. Just going to put us overweight. The hand, hands look pretty cool, the gauntlets, and I like the uh, lower two. We can get away with those. That looks pretty good with that set, actually. So. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. That was all I needed here. So. So Pasha's, uh, like I said, I checked his cave. He's not there. I don't remember killing him. I, I don't think I did, but... Yeah. So... 
He he normally moves up in here, one of these islands, after you uh, talk to him at his first place, and then go up here at one of these islands. But I've never not encountered him at Volcano Manor. And I, I'm almost positive I didn't kill him. But if I did, uh, it sucks, because uh, I really did want to pick up that armor set and uh, cover getting it in the guides. So, I'm going to just check through all of these real quick. So it won't take very long, but do feel free to skip ahead if you know if you don't want to watch this. I totally understand. I think it might be this one. Here. Normally, on yeah, pretty sure this is where he was supposed to meet us in Liernia. They did add some stuff to his quest line, too, but I don't. I don't think it may be possible that there's another step now hopefully not but if I don't find him what I'll do is in the next one I'll uh, you know look online and see if anything's changed about how you're supposed to meet him so. Not gonna use that, but it's good to pick up. Check these, then we'll be done. Pretty sure it's the one with the uh, grace we just grabbed, though. Cause you can like, you know, warp right to him. Use his store. In the first pre-patch, because. Like I said, I play a lot of this online, and uh, my family's a lake house, we don't have internet, so the first, like, pre-patch, he was near the merchant in the start of the area, like, just sitting there, and then uh, they moved him in the patch to that, uh, you know, little hill. Or one of these little hills, I'm pretty sure it's the one with the, uh... With the grace on it. Just want to double check. I not grab that one either. So a couple we didn't grab before, but we didn't miss anything in there other than that dexterity tier for your physic if you want it. So, and don't forget there's a couple um, walking mausoleums in this area. I don't have anything I need to get from them, but just, you know, keep that in mind. I did want to check here and make sure we've grabbed all the uh, spells we wanted and everything as well. Greetings. Okay, cool. Maybe I angered him or something? Nope. 
Hmm. Very odd. So, you won't be able to tell from the edit, but I stopped and um, did some research on patches. So, he should appear here once we rest. I really hope he does. Thank God. There he is. You joined the man, I don't believe it. Oh, good, though. You'll do good. Oh, a match is important. Alright, so he's back here with his um, uh, store if you need anything. Are you surprised? I always hate I thought I could let Not to me. Even after I've never seen. Cheers for that. Forgot something on your shelf. No, no. Cheers for that. He's, he's supposed to give you his uh, quest, but we might need to come back again since he just spawned here. I'm not sure. Oh, I gotta talk to Tannis <clears throat> first. So she'll give you a couple of uh, rewards for your first couple of kills. You read the letter. That is the task. The volcano. You will be compensated if you are loath to hunt. But you must leave this house. This is a we have no. You've completed. I am. Pleased. This is your. Magma you shots. Your pleased. first one. The way is it is the truth. Now I am pleased. Now I am pleased. All right. Now let's try resting and talking to Patches, see if that... I also researched um, Nefeli and uh, Kenneth Height. Ah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the one Patches gives us is going to be in Lindell, which we haven't gotten to yet. Um, but it's kind of like a gank fight. And uh, we'll get that armor from it and a weapon, I think. There's our next letter, and now you'll be able to buy Ashes of War. So, I'm pretty sure he has a few new ones from the last time. Again, he was the one that was in Warmaster Shack a long time ago. I've still got all those rings I need to spend. I forget I have them sometimes. Not a good thing to do. So we can get two levels. Can we get three? Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. That will just be able to get two, I think. We're going to be a little short on the third. Alright. So, 35 minimum figure now. I'd say if you're melee focused, you might want to go to 40. Um, but I'm using Rune Arcs and um, Radigan's Sword Seal. If you're not using either one of those, I'd go at least to 40. Um, we're using both, like so. We're really at 45 once we're actually um, in the fight, but so I, I feel like we can get away with it. But and then I needed 68 here, so two more that'll do. Actually, 63 would do it, but might as well because I'm gonna top that off at 70. Oh, and I want to throw on Magma Shot. I, th I think it was pretty good if I remember. All 
Alright, so we got patches now. I think patches. So we've got Tragoth and Riley. Before I do those, I'm going to run and see if we can uh, do this real quick. <clears throat> said uh, online people were having good results with warping here and going back and resting here. And then it was bringing Kenneth Height and uh, Nefeli to Godric's. Still doesn't look like they're there because uh, Gostock will go in there with them as well. All three of them will be in that room. And he'll, he'll actually sell an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone at that point as well. Um, the other thing I saw people saying was... Uh, once you talk to Kenneth Height, if he doesn't leave, go back to try to reform again, and you should leave. But I, I do think you have to actually get past, um, I don't want to say his name, but the uh, boss of uh, Lindell area of the capital. I think you have to f finish him before coming back and them actually going to the throne room. Stop yelling. Okay, yeah, I think we have to be... He's just gonna keep... I don't wanna hit him. So we'll go back to finishing our, um, finishing our quest here. Oh, I had to get a drink. Alright, so this is the guy that actually helped us in the fight, but we're going to kill him now. And you'll get his armor, which I think is kind of goofy looking, but it's uh, really Strong armor, for sure. And if you're doing magic, remember Night Comet, when you're invading, they can't see it. It's like semi-invisible, so they won't dodge it. You can just hit them over and over with it. Damn it, I forgot again about the stupid... There we go. Sorry, buddy. Throw that on. Seems good we got his helm and armor. Like in the last video, I said there were a couple things we missed near here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where they're at. Remember, we took this up when we first um, got to the plateau. Well, actually, we took the lift first, and then I showed you this back way. Because I actually like using the back way. You get more items and uh, upgrade materials from it. But then it, right at the top here, it's going to bring us to the area where all the abandoned carriages are. And uh, where we fought uh, the great dragon for the first time. One of the great dragons.
it's interesting because the dragons have completely different designs. The uh, great dragons like have like four wings, and um, I need another foul foot. They have like four wings and are bigger and like long, you know, giraffe like necks. And then the, uh, there's the regular ones like Adula we faced at the beginning of the game. going to be a few things over here. Uh, I think this is Sage's cave over here. I mean, that uh, let, um, area that heads up that way, that's where all the, uh, you can see here, going up here is where all the um, carriages are. And then this is where that dragon came and we fought and he left. Uh, Millicent's right there. But there's a couple caves I just want to hit while we're here. Okay, so the first one should be right over here. This one's worth it too. It's got a lot of uh, items in it. but I think this is the one there's hidden wall this is the one that uh, there's two bosses in maybe wrong I can't I know it's one of these up here in this area there's another like black knife assassin and then regular boss but this case full of these so if you like opening chest place to be. Some of them aren't, you know, anything crazy, but there's some nice stuff. There's a good, uh, good looking mask we'll get. So anytime there's two braziers like this, it's obviously a hallways there, so. a holy weapon um, it works well against the skeletons then you don't have to actually hit their bones once they're down it'll just take them out they won't respawn so some if you have it's, it helps um, obviously I'm using magic so I'm not gonna change it just for that but see we got the uh, Black Hood Mask, which I actually really like. I think it looks cool. Kind of ninja-like. These guys are actually pretty fairly tough. Pretty sure you can farm them for that uh, axe too if you want it. You'll have to uh, kill their body in order to pick it up though. 
This guy's showing you there's a wall there by staring at it. Fairly obvious. Sorry, hidden wall. <laughs> there's walls everywhere. The Raptor Talents. Basically like Wolverine Claws. Yeah, this is one of the two bosses. That's what I thought. There's the... Or maybe. I thought that was it there. There's the Raptor's Feathers. And the Skeletal Mask. Another cool looking one. See, it's like got a skeleton look. I actually like that better. Okay, so here's one and the other fog door. It's gonna be over here. So make sure to do both of them while you're here. I think this guy's invisible, if I remember right. But your uh, summon should be able to see him, so. Kind of follow their lead, wherever they're swinging. enough. There's a concealing veil. <clears throat> Back out the way we came. is actually fairly tough. Probably gonna die here. No, he missed his shot. I say that and we actually Absolutely demolish him. Um, but we'll get his flail, which is Celebrant's heads. Our family heads. We'll uh, call it that. Get three copper heads on a handle by chains. It does like a little, I guess like death, Ash of War, which it is a in intelligence focus. So it might be good if you're doing a magic build and the Dark Moon Sword isn't your cup of tea.
Alrighty. So, down in this corner over here, there's a little ruins area. There's going to be another cave. One of the omen killer guys we fought a lot earlier is going to be here. So just be on the lookout. First combo, uh, it'll kill you if all three hit. And then we get his gear. Another perfume bottle, which is sweet. Perfumer's Talisman. So if you're Mr. Perfume, you can use that and it'll make it even stronger. I'm gonna kill that. There's another perfume bottle. And then there's gonna be a little cave down here. You activate the wayfinder, or whatever it's called, guide there. It's gonna point you down here. You do need two stone sword to get in. This one's full of, uh, oh my god, get off me, full of those guys, and the bigger ones like that, I have the axes. Get their axe, seems, seems cool. One. I want to make sure there's not one I missed. Is there a tunnel back here? No, there wasn't. Okay.
So there's going to be a bunch of uh, misbegotten down there. There you are. That's why you gotta get the Okay. You have to get the words off the screen before you can interact or swing your weapon or do anything. Just hit uh, whatever your interact button is. So we should be able to finish this one. Alright, so that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover in this area. Um, so we hit this one. Oh, we hit it. Sage's Cave. Uh, we hit the ruins.
trying to figure out how we get to this one. I think the main way is going to be coming at it through here. So we can start at our tree gazing hill. And uh, try to ride through and see. I think I fought the dragon, but I'm not 100%. If so, it's not that bad. You only got to take like a quarter or third of his health. So not a not a hard fight, really. And then um, you know, get your normal stuff to deal with anyway. So. So the dragon should swoop down right around here if you haven't fought him yet. Apparently we did. Be a few wolves. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here. Uh, we'll pick up our next contract in the next one uh, for the uh, Volcano Manor. And, uh, yeah. If you got any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.